Hi, my name is Filippo Gaetani and I'm a record producer. This is the second video about the drum libraries, drum groove libraries made with a song structure in mind. The first one was London Grooves recorded by Cameron Craig in London and with Jason uh, Cooper and Jeremy Stacy. This one is called LA Confidential. I recorded three of my favorite drummers, Fernando Sanchez, Kelly, Scott and Tim Dow. We did it at NRG Studios in North Hollywood and uh, we recorded with the Neve 8078 fabulous console there and I mixed in Vienna with, with uh, lots of analog gear, my favorite analog gear. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to use the library. This is called LA Confidential and it's released by IK Multimedia. Okay, I found a, um, a beat I really like. It's called Frankly Funky. It's a 125 BPM played by Fernando. The beat is mapped on the keyboard. Well, there's another intro field, which is very cool. And then a normal beat. The crash. And that's an ending, that's an ending groove. The first drum field, the intro drum field starts on four, right? So one, two, three, four. And one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play with a click. One, two, three, four. Uh, once you recorded your MIDI events uh, with a click reference, then you can, of course, you can move your MIDI events so that all the grooves are played um, on the grid, and then you compose your song the way you like, choosing the your favorite uh, variations of the groove, right? Bottom right, we have the control for the macros, and you, you see it can change the levels of the stems of the room mics for example this is a funky beat so maybe i want it drier i can take all the way down the room mics can give it a bit more of the of the kit so of the overheads i can change the snare and the kick relation and everything now, this is another beat called quick rock played by kelly and i'm messing with the with the sub and the top end uh, using the macros for, that control the effects that are in uh, our effects rack. And in this case, it's an equalizer, uh, sort of a mag EQ4 type, and a 76 type of compressor. You can go up with the sub, go down with the air. I can mess with the equalization right there. I can also open the actual effect, but I can control the basics here, yeah, a little bit less. Compression, more gain, more compression again, and compensate with the right gain, and so forth. But I want to change the pitch of the snare uh, before committing to tape. So here's, here's what I could do with sample tank. Okay, there's another type of processing you could do, uh, which is messing with the pitch and envelope of the parts of a drum beat. You see, this is very nice. So we, we, we decided to mess with the snare. This is a stem version of Frankly Funky. Changing, yes, I'm changing the pitch of the snare with several parameters, you see. I especially like this one, pitch envelope. So when you work with the stereo beat, it's probably easier and you process the whole stereo beat. In this case, we use the stem version and we process the snare. You can choose the part you want to work on. Uh, let's try it again on a uh, second time on the snare and see how it works. Or we start with a process snare here. Go up with a the pitch again. Yeah. Let's 
stereo versions of 90% of the beats here in LA Confidential are processed differently than the stem mixes. Mixed uh, with a sort of more final sound in mind. It might not work for your taste, that's why there is also a stem version. The stem version of the beat, so the ones without the ST at the end of the title, the end of the name, are the raw recording that you can process here in Sample Tank or you can process in Pro Tools when you come in to tape. Here it goes. That's the stereo version which is great really processed. It's a um, 120 in stereo without room pretty dry right. I think there should be a regular and wet as far as I remember but you will find something called uh, better call soul stereo 120 or better call soul stereo wet so the better call soul stereo wet would sound like this Stereo process with more more room mics, whereas the stem version instead it sounds like this. Yeah, that's the stem version. The sounds the sound is more linear, more raw. You want to create a, a, ah. a certain uh, drum.